Hi, I'd like to tell you about this device I found and how to integrate it with iNav. Uh, but first I'll give a bit of background information on ADSB. ADSB is a technology used in aviation that allows aircraft to automatically broadcast their precise location, altitude, and other data to air traffic control and nearby aircraft. It's used to increase observability of aircraft, which in turn increases safety as it will help prevent collisions. If you've ever used an aircraft tracker like Flight Radar 24 or ADSB Exchange, you might have wondered where these get their information. These services use ADSB information that's captured by feeder stations all around the world, as well as other sources like MLAT and Radar. Now back to this device. Uh, it's made by John from Pants for Birds, which is a great name by the way. This is their YouTube channel, uh, cool names all taken. Uh, and it's a Pi Zero based ADSB receiver. And if you know anything about ADSB receivers, you'll know they tend to be quite expensive. As of right now, the only ones mentioned in the iNav docs are the Ping RX, which is 200 pounds plus, and the TTSC1, uh, which is 110 euros plus. It's also possible to DIY with a Raspberry Pi and a software defined radio, uh, maybe a topic for a future video. This board, which is in beta at the moment, was $85 or £80 once you take into account import tax. As of uh, this moment, uh, John is sold out of the beta iteration, uh, but has let me know he's working on another board that supports dual band frequencies that will be available in a beta run soon. Uh, so definitely sign up to his mailing list to get more information as it arrives. This board, after some recent bug fixes from John, I was able to get it working perfectly in iNav. Uh, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide if you want to do the same thing. Uh, first, a quick overview of how it works. Uh, the board will connect to your flight controller over UART using the Mavlink protocol. Uh, so while your fixed wing or cord is flying around, it'll be getting signals directly from planes to update positional information in iNav. Uh, first, you need to update the receiver by plugging it into your computer and then while holding down the BT button, uh, tap the RST button. It should then show as a mass storage device and you can drag uh, to the drive the latest release downloaded from GitHub. It's the UF2 file. It will then automatically eject itself and start the flashing process. Uh, it'll be done once both lights start flashing again. Now you can connect it up to a computer and go to uh, serialterminal.com. You should be able to see a device named Pico. Connect to it uh, and let's start giving it some commands. All commands start with uh, AT plus, and then the name of the command. Um, you can see the current setting by uh, doing a question mark, or you can set a value using equals. So first, you can make sure it's working by outputting the vials, uh, values to the USB serial view. You can do that by typing AT protocol equals console comma CSB. You should then see uh, hash s messages. These are status messages. If you see hash a messages, these are the messages you're receiving from aircraft. Uh, some values in that you can read directly, like latitude and longitude, and some needs uh, further processing. If you want to configure a board for iNav, I recommend these settings. Uh, so first, you will need to enable the comms UART for Mavlink. You can do that with this command. Um, then I would uh, turn off the ASP to save power and to prevent interference uh, on the, the 5.8 or 2.4 band. Uh, and you can do that uh, by typing in AT ESP32 enable and setting that to zero. I would also just disable um, the access point that's by default turned on, although it shouldn't be usable now. Um, and you can also disable the default feeder station outputs. Um, again, I don't think it will attempt to use these once Wi-Fi is off, but I just turn them off just in case. Uh, and then you'll need to save those settings by typing AT plus settings equals save. Uh, 
So now you need to take apart your ADS-B and solder up the UART connections to a spare UART on your flight controller. Uh, after that, you can go into iNav and in the ports tab, select Mavlink for your chosen UART. You can then go into the OSD and add the ADS-B information. Uh, you can also configure the distances uh, you want to get uh, alerts and warnings. Uh, and that's it. You've now got additional situational awareness. On mine, I also made a simple monopole antenna uh, from an old uh, receiver I had uh, that had a UFL connector on it. So I measured out 6.9 centimeters and cut that and it seems to function fine. Uh, so here we can see uh, the ADSB information is coming through the OSD. I'm getting uh, one plane detected or aircraft um, and at the top uh, as it is within my threshold of 20 kilometers it is showing me it is 5.18 kilometers to my left height of uh, 1308 meters above my current location and that's it thanks for watching i'll leave a bunch of links in the description for if you want to follow this project yourself uh, and if you want to see more flight footage and build videos, feel free to subscribe as well.